In this video, we are going to discuss about the agenda of the whole series of data biology. We'll start with introduction, what, why, and we'll discuss what is business intelligence and why is it important. So I'll switch to freeform now. So we'll discuss about the agendas, right? So first, what, what is the agenda of this whole series? So we'll, we'll start with uh, what is OLTP systems and what is OLAP systems and how are those systems different. Then we'll discuss what are measures and what are attributes. And we'll discuss what are fact tables and dimension tables. You might have heard those before learning warehousing. These two are basically very important things what we discuss, right? So next we'll look uh, what are the there are certain other things called advanced topics we'll look into those as well we'll just have a brief introduction about it we'll not discuss in elaboration but we'll discuss about it other than this i'll have a demo where we'll try to explain how do we design this so how do we identify what what would be the fact table what would be the dimension table and how would we we'll design this right so we'll start with the introduction so what is basically a warehousing so i'll remove this quickly so about warehousing right warehousing is nothing but a central repository so you can consider warehouse as a central repository wherein data flows from several systems right this can be like uh, different systems we we tell it heterogeneous systems so data from heterogeneous system flows into a single place central repository where those are analyzed to make more informed decisions now what do you mean by more informed decisions more informed decisions simply implies that we'll see the data then we will predict what we have to do now when we say predict we don't say ai ml here we basically look into the data the past trends and we identify now let me give one simple example so consider a store is selling pens okay now what happens is for example it has stores in new york or say california uh, you can just say san francisco for example you have two stores right what they see in while in december month in new york store red color pens are sold more more number of mid red color compared to others but in san francisco in december the red color pens are sold less so what the business understand from the previous uh, data the trend that in december in new york somehow people use red pens more so what they will do is next year in december they would move red pens from san francisco to new york like they will keep less say 10 percent stock here and 90 percent stock in new york so what will happen is they will have more stock in new york and less in san francisco and they can cater people needs right so that is how informed decisions are made based on data warehouse okay now what is business intelligence business intelligence is nothing it's a technical infrastructure you can say in basic terms it is called bi it's a technical infrastructure which analyzes collects and store data okay for companies decisions again same thing company make decisions based on some analytical reporting that happens right which the company take decisions that happens that is called business intelligence and basically they it, it also majorly implies into data warehousing okay so now we'll see uh, there are certain components of warehousing so how it happens so uh, let me just remove this whole thing down we'll just leave yeah okay so what happens is we have two terms that is one thing is called upstream and one thing called is downstream so you'll run these terms when you go into a production system or you work for a production system you'll run this so upstream is something is where the data is happening so basically we call it as source and downstream is something where the data is getting ingested so you can call it a data warehouse or a downstream analytical reporting systems 
right so these are all downstream so what happens so basically a warehouse is usually a downstream system so what happens is multiple sources so you can have two sources for example uh, that same example right pen example so this this is the uh, new york and this is the san francisco so both of them sends data to the warehouse so what happens in between of this right in between of this there is something that is happening okay so what is happening here is that is called etl you have heard this term prior right etl etl is nothing it is called extract transform and load transform now sometimes it is also called elt where it is called extract load and transform just load and transform so these are integers so uh, these are basically two terms we will not going to discuss etl right now so it's just an introduction so you need to understand what is data warehousing and how it happens right so now you know the need what is data warehousing and why do we need this okay so we will more elaborately look into systems like oltp and olap in coming lecture so uh, the question here comes into play sometimes in the interviews people ask questions right so they ask this question now we this is a transactional system transactional system basically caters data into the analytical system right so why do we need this why do we make olap systems to for analytical reporting why can't we do a direct reporting on transactional system so this is one of the important question that comes into interviews so we'll look into that in the coming lectures